welcome to another vlog. It's actually the eve of my 27th birthday. I cannot believe I'm 27. I feel like I'm 87. Um, I talk more about this on my solo podcast episode on House Guest, and you guys can also watch on YouTube. For my birthday present, guys, go subscribe to that podcast YouTube channel. I will have it linked below. Anyways, my mom is about to come over. She's sleeping over. I had a chill afternoon. I was in the pool and then I've just been cooking dinner and making some of my favorite dishes, obviously with my recipe journal. I love this thing so much. It's it's genuinely my prized possession. If y'all are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Fitz, what are you doing, Bob? Oh, my mom's here. birthday gifts. I do know what they are because I said hi to Lakes. Always our place. Every single birthday and every Christmas, this is pretty much all I ask for. That's why I have so much our place stuff. But they have this new pan that's a cast iron pan, but these are like things that you really get excited for when you're 27. It's a cast iron pan, but it's like a different cleaning method. If you cook with a cast iron, everything tastes better, but the cleaning, like it's just awful. I have a lot of extra, I have extra cast iron as well if you want to take it to the lake house. The upkeep. The upkeep is just so, and I could never figure it out, but it's crazy. Like making a steak on a cast iron, I mean, people will literally think you're Martha Stewart. Like it's just unbelievable. You don't have to season this, right? I don't exactly know what it is. I just know that it's easier and like anything that's easier I will do. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. So here it that's is. The, for the handle. Oh, I love it. And then right here, but it's cast iron and steam. This is the color steam. That's what I have pretty much everything in. I'm cooking actually with caraway. Caraway sent me stuff recently, but I actually really like their stuff. It's really good nonstick. But this is perfect. I need to actually look into the upkeep so I can keep this. But I've wanted this forever. And then the thing that I've actually wanted the longest. I think it's the, was it called the Wonder Oven? Yes, this is the Wonder Oven. So it's to replace my, you're actually so lucky because you're just getting, you're getting gifts right for my birthday. Oh, I'm, I'm getting the, the yeah, hand-me-downs? You're getting all the hand-me-downs, yes. <laughs> um, but I've wanted this Wonder Oven because back here, I have this toaster oven that I love, but I have, this is not supposed to be out here, I'm just trying to move this. I have my, like this pot, Wonder Pot, our pot, I don't remember what it's called. I just want it all to match, so anyways, yeah, wanted to switch that out. that out. Because don't you think it'll look better because it'll be cohesive? Yeah, for sure. It's an air fryer toaster oven and it is smaller. Oh yeah, so cute. Yeah, this is so cute. You know what this is giving? Easy bake oven. <laughs> this is actually, it's literally the exact same size as an easy bake oven. I can taste those like chocolate brownie things we used to make. Our place branding, like this is my dream brand collab. It's just the sickest, cutest stuff ever. Like that's adorable.
Good morning, y'all. I'm 27. Fifth comments, I've got. I love you. I love you. Tabby and I are going on a run. It's a five miler, which is my longest run yet. I've been a little bit nervous, and then last night I just got really excited. I've been feeling very slow and sluggish this week, um, but I feel like that is behind me. Couldn't charge my Garmin watch because I lost the charger. Ordered a new one, but good morning, everyone. Okay, we're here. Tabby's almost here. Wish me luck on my five mile run. Oh, there she is. I did my four miler, like no issue. And I was on adrenaline, so gotta go. Birthday girl. Five mile run on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Okay, Tabby, are you ready? I'm ready. How are you feeling about this run? I actually have like the excited jitters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> They're not just regular miles. No, they're not. We actually run 10 for every one mile. They're, <laughs> I was gonna say, they're birthday miles. Oh, so, yeah, those too. Okay, birthday girl. Four and a half. Okay. I don't, how do I do this? There Pretty we go. The this is hard. Four and a half. Woo. Feeling good. <laughs> I'm ready to be done. <laughs> Great song choice. The real Slim Shady. By me. Actually going to the Olympics. Yeah. Did you see all the comments on my running video? Side note: Did you see that the Olympics have never had a handball team go? And next year they're hosting open tryouts. So should we do it? I think we should try out. Actually, honestly, you probably could get. You could probably make it. <sighs> we finished 10:30 pace. Think, like we could make it. Did you have a piece of toast ready to go? Toast. Oh, oh! Tabby is so wholesome. She brought bread for the ducks. <sighs> um. Okay. Tabby said we ran 5.2 miles at a 10.30 pace. Mine said we ran it short, whatever. So we're going with a 10.30 pace. I feel good about that. Whew. We're at Juice Land. I got the Cosmic Charlie. This is my favorite smoothie. Which one did you get? I got the Wonders Chosen. You're giving like Blake Lively in a movie where she's a soccer player and is like effortless and the, the cool girl who like doesn't try. You know? Thank you so much. <laughs> That's actually the nicest thing you probably could have said to me this mm -hmm. morning. Guys, I have to film this because okay. Macy <laughs> and Tabby got me a community gift, which is just what we do for ourselves. We like community gifts because we all benefit from it. Okay, well, I opened it loosely because I wanted to see it. Okay. Wait. Oh my god, I know. Let me guess what it is. It's going to be the thing for the grill. <laughs> yes. They've been wanting this for so long. <laughs> Wait, that's such a genius idea. So we can make pancakes. Wait, yeah. We can do community. Breakfast. Maybe I'll make pancakes this morning on there. Yeah. Put it on the girl <gasps> top. Thanks. Wait, this is all my birthday. And then you can whoosh, and you have a little. Oh my god. Wait, this is such a good gift. Nice. I tied those. Oh, it's heavy. Late. Yeah, it's heavy duty. Whoa. <laughs> Literally, all my birthday gifts are like kitchen related. Like that's all I ask for. Wait, hold on. As long as you know your place. <laughs> no, literally in the kitchen. This is genius. And now, and so, yeah. I can make them, they've been wanting to do this yes. on the grill for a year, so now, breakfast club, you yes. can make us pancakes, yes. you can make us eggs. <laughs> I almost drew pictures of everything and like, put them all out. <laughs> hey, this is my breakfast order. Yeah. Pancakes, <laughs> eggs, bacon, and then, wait, and I'm then, literally gonna do this We this could morning. do Teppon on it. Hey, little Teppon. This is such a good gift, thanks guys. Yeah, thanks Macy too. Wow, I'm literally gonna go, this is how I'm gonna make breakfast this morning. Yeah. I'll send you photos. 
Okay, we'll have fun at work. The girl that I'm interviewing is actually from St. Louis. Is it St. Louis? Oh, really? Turns out my propane tank is out, so making breakfast on the stove. This looks so much cuter. Bought a new bag because I loved, I'm gonna take the houses off. I love this one. I got this on the real real, this little long chomp bag, but I wanted one that matched more stuff. Oh, wait, no, perfect. Oh, this one's like bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it would carry everything. It's so cute, the coloring's perfect. I thought it would be good. It's definitely bigger than this one though. Like, but I thought it would be good for London because I can carry like my vlog camera and stuff mm -hmm. in it, you know? Yeah, it's cute. I like the coloring and what's I'll just the... like add things to it. It's bigger than I like but expected. What's this for at the bottom? It's cute. Cute. Reformation, just to see if there's anything I would rather wear to my birthday dinner tonight. This is the best shopping experience. They load that back there and then see so knock knock open your stuff's here and then also you can basically online shop throughout. Like, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this, but I just think it's so nice. Like, you can literally just sit back here and essentially online shop and try everything on. It's just amazing. <laughs> I think this dress is the one. I can't tell, but I feel really good in it. And I feel like navy is what I should wear for my birthday dinner because that's my favorite color this year. The polka dots just remind me of like growing up with my cousins. I don't know, I think it's cute. So I think we're gonna do it. It's kind of fun, a little birthday-ish. My other stuff's just kind of a little boring that I have picked out, so I think this is it. I'll link it below, it's so cute. I'm also getting the exact top that I'm wearing in white. I just think it's so cute and classic and just perfect. So I got this exact shirt in white because I love it, I'm wearing a size small. Reformation dresses, I will say they're pricey, but you keep them forever, the quality is amazing and they are the most flattering dresses you've ever worn in your life. I love like a high neckline tank top right now. I have this in gray, but it actually like got messed up in the wash. Why I bought another one, I don't know. It's just a really flattering cut and I feel like I'll wear it a ton, I'm not. I don't wear black like a ton, but you know. Abercrombie, okay, so I got this just now in store, and I also came home to a package from gifting from them. This I just thought would be so cute with like jeans, ballet flats, like adorable. Love that for London. And then I got this stuff too. I didn't realize that I got like the matching dress with it, so we'll see how I like this. I kind of wish I wouldn't. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so I actually do like this dress. I'm trying to dress more like mature and elevated and I like it. I think I maybe could have gone down the size or maybe this is perfect. Like eventually, if I want to literally look like I'm the first lady of America, I mean, no, it doesn't really work with this. It's giving VP and that's not really what I was going for there. Okay, these aren't meant to be worn together, but I'm just trying them on for the sake of the try on. Um, I love this top. I think this is so cute. I can't wait to wear it. These jeans, okay, I don't know how I feel about them with the cuff. How do we feel about them? Maybe a kitten heel might cure this. Let's see. Okay, I think I do like them with the kitten heel. These are the baggy low rise. We're a size 29 and I get curve love. I will say they're a little bit big around the waist. But yeah, I really, I don't hate these like at all. Okay, same thing with this. I love this top. I actually have the matching skirt, but I love the top just styled with pants. I would not necessarily style it this way, um, but I just think it's really cute and elevated. These are, again, low-rise, trigger warning, pants, and they're just the ultra baggy. I feel like, just because jeans stretch, I feel like they might become too baggy. I don't know. I probably would always wear a belt with them or something. Um, but I like them with a the kitten heel, really cute, very comfortable. I think that there is an Abercrombie denim sale right now. I don't know if it's up by the time this video is up, but if it is, I will link it. I wear literally nothing but Abercrombie denim, like curve love. Pretty much all of this denim back here 
is Abercrombie Curve Love. That's an Abercrombie top. Half of that's Abercrombie. I live in Abercrombie stuff. So, anyways, I like this for the low rise trends. I think these are cute. showered and gotten ready for the night we're gonna leave for dinner in like 20 minutes i'm really excited to wear my new dress i'm thinking i'm just gonna wear black heels in my black chanel bag workout Liz actually flew in late last night she slept here we had a workout and then I just had some calls so she just went over to Anna's Liz and Anna are sisters we didn't know look at how cute my new Sony Clover bag is it's so perfect for the lake we're going to our lake house this weekend it's me my cousins my sister Liz Tabby and then just throughout the weekend random people are coming it's just been a very chill unplanned birthday really just like people who kind of made plans so i'm just gonna start packing up the car it's always such a trek and then we're off all right y'all we've made it to the lake house liz and i are here everyone else is arriving later i got this cute dress from anthropology this week Actually, I'm getting a lot of like really cute clothes. I wear this Nantucket hat literally 24-7. This is an old triangle swimsuit. And Liz and I are going to go lay out until everyone else arrives. Oh, you know what? I should get some product shots. Liz is just tiptoeing, tiptoeing, <laughs> tiptoeing. Um, I ordered chilies. I always forget that that. Oh, Coco, we're using. Is this what we're using? This is this what we're using. This is for tanning beds. Well, no, we can't use that outside. But no, I've been using it, and that's how I've been getting tan. Okay. Listen, guys, this might be horrible <laughs> for you, but I looked on Amazon. I, I looked on Amazon, and I said best tanning oil that actually gets you tan when your name is, or when you are white and Irish, and your grandma's name is Maureen Delaney. It said that on, that. no. Yeah, like that's literally what showed up on Amazon. Incredible. And I was like, that's so crazy that you guys like wow. knew that about it's me. Crazy. Yeah, so it's gonna work.
every shade of green and all the colors Some are and the dogs. It's Sunday morning. I didn't vlog much at the lake house this weekend. Just, <laughs> why is Coco so funny in this? Um, just because we were like on the water basically the whole time. We had a boat yesterday and then we were in the pool. We grilled, I had more friends come yesterday. It was really fun. Today is Sunday, um, it's like 7.45. Tabby and I are about to have some coffee out on the deck and then I'm going home. We're going to church and then I have a flight to New York. I'm going to New York for the craziest thing ever. It's like so I'm so excited. And I get to see Macy because as y'all know, Macy's been in New York for the past month and she's still, well, a couple of weeks. She's coming home in a couple of weeks, but I'm excited. I am so sunburned guys. Like this is so bad. You know, it is what it is. All right, y'all, I'm in a rush. This is my fit. These jeans are the new Abercrombie ones. Um, I have to wear them with belts. They're just very loose, and I feel like, I know that's the, the vibe, but you know when your pants stretch out and then they're falling off, I feel like this is just recipe for disaster. This belt, I've shared with y'all so many times, $40. Cheapest belt literally ever, Reformation top. I have it in gray, I was wearing that earlier this week. And then my favorite, Sam so my kitten heels. Everything that I like, I buy it in five different colors. And my new bag, which is so cute and perfect. My flight to New York actually just got canceled tonight, so they're gonna have to take me on another one. But thank God, I'm hacked and ready to go. All right, y'all, it is now 1 a.m. I had a nightmare travel day, but we made it to New York. I just checked in to the Beekman. So here's a little hotel room tour. We are in the financial district. It's a Thompson Hotel. It's so nice. Tomorrow I'll show y'all the little area outside of the room because it's so cool. I just have a car coming in six hours to pick me up. So doing this very quickly. Like look at how cute. Tomorrow night, Macy and I are having a little sleepover. This is so cute. I mean, this view isn't really going to be anything because it's right off the street, but I love this hotel. Oh my god, it's so cute. So my first flight got canceled. Um, then they booked me another flight, but there weren't any direct, so I was flying United, um to like DC and then coming here. It wasn't even that the flights were delayed. It was just that we sat on the runway for an hour, so I made it onto my connecting flight with like one minute to go. It was the last one leaving to go to New York for the night. So, it was a, so I was almost stuck in Washington and I was like, what is, what is going on here? I was stuck in Washington, which wouldn't work because I'm pretty sure my call time was at like 7 a.m. All right, everyday pajamas. These are the softest pajamas ever. This face tanner, there is nothing like it. Spray it all over my face. I use a little brush, I pat it into my skin, then you wake up with the healthiest looking tan skin. It gives you just the perfect glow. I kept complimenting Macy's tan and this is what she used. So then I got it, I've been using it. Honestly, it might be a year now. I'm not really quite sure. Their ads pop up for me a lot. I don't know if they're popping up for me because I say their name and it pops up on my phone. But if you guys ever get served their ads, this stuff, it's tanning water from Salty Face. It's amazing. I like, I like their body tanner too, but this is the best face tanner I've ever used. All right, y'all, it's seven, we are heading out. This is the look that they picked for me. Oh, my button from my closet. This dress is from Reformation. I wore this, I think, in Miami, and I love this dress. I'm going through such a Reformation moment. And then my boots are my Tacova Josies. I love these boots. They're just so good. And then my new long chomp. 
and we're out. I'm getting hair and makeup done there. Okay, time to go. today um it'll be coming out soon so you guys will see very very soon but it was just so much fun literally a dream come true my absolute dream brand and i'm just so grateful freezing right now i need to get a little bit of work done macy's coming over very soon I thought, and we're just like hanging out for the rest of the day we can catch up with macy and her new york life see how she's liking it um and i'm just getting a bunch of stuff done for a friend of mine we have a lot of gifting a ton of launches for the rest of the year so i just need to send some stuff over to our teams that are working on that um, this is the only lounge that I brought. I didn't even bring makeup. I brought literally nothing here. Just I have one outfit and then I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore yesterday on the plane tomorrow because I just didn't even pack anything. But it was really, really good. Just changed, going to get Macy. Really cute outfit. Floor one. <gasps> Look who it is! Oh my gosh, wait, I have this same tote bag. From Goriana? Yes. No way. Yes, hello. Hi. I'm gonna fall. Oh wait, I'm probably... Did you want to read that so we... No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I have something good to tell them. Oh, what is it? Probably sweaty from the subway because I took the subway. Oh, that was your good thing to tell them? Yeah. Just because you're a local now? Yeah. Did anyone get mad that you called yourself a New Yorker or...? No one did. Not yet. Because I am. <laughs> like, they know them when they see them. They're like facts. <laughs> Wait, Lise, are you vlogging? I'm watching my friend's reaction for the first time. That you're vlogging? Yes. <laughs> Wait, this is huge. This feels like a gender reveal. This feels huge. Here, should we get beer? Yeah. I'm kind of feeling like crazy. Okay. It's our only like summer days together. Yeah. Until we turn September into summer. No, September's gonna be the best summer ever. September's gonna be the craziest summer we've ever had. This is summer. I was thinking I was thinking, um, September, maybe Aspen in September. Did you go to Aspen? Yeah. Okay. I was just thinking, like, somewhere. Yeah. For a little weekend getaway. Yeah. And I would love to go to Aspen. I would too, but Aspen's, like, expensive. And, like, logistic, like, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll have to talk, yeah. but I have some ideas here. You know, what I was trying to say, Aspen sounds great in theory. And also in execution. Just minus the... It's literally like what you were just saying about the memories and the money. I just feel like, and like when it's like they say like money comes and goes, like yeah. that joke. I feel like they would shut me there. No, I I loved Aspen when I went. Okay. And I hate things like that. It's actually great. Treating her. <laughs> I'm visiting her. She's a local. With this, oh, I do have my card. That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a good day. So, what did you want to tell us about this place? What? Oh, it's in New York. It's called a bodega. Oh, it's a little bodega. Yeah, she's teaching us all the things. Any, any no one would know that. But thank God you let us know. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Are 
right, y'all, a really crazy night in the city. <sighs> we ordered Chick fil A. Because I like, I gotta get to them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> okay. Um, we ordered Chick fil A. Let's see. Okay. Oh! How many more times can I do that? We had a friend come over. Um, I was getting a lot of stuff done on my laptop, so I kind of wasn't speaking. Oh, is that mine? Yeah. Lemonade. What's y'all's Chick-fil-A order? Um, I'll tell you mine. I have so many different orders for so many different moods, but... I have one order. That's it. Um, I love the kids' meal because it's a five count and it's perfect. It's like... Oh, I got a five count? Kind of, as an adult meal. Yeah. I didn't know that there was an option. You got eight. No, I got five. I, it was the first time I'd ever seen it because I got mac and cheese too. Is that really? Crazy? It was the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Oh my gosh. So it must be new. I love the five count option. And then I get Chick-fil-A sauce and I got mac and cheese today. But like, what if they didn't bring me some sauce? What if they didn't bring sauce? <gasps> oh, thank God they did. Oh, I got Chick-fil-A sauce. What do you need, Chick-fil-A sauce? Do you, yeah. do you want ketchup? Yeah, I got Chick-fil-A sauce and ketchup. Yeah, I got the mac and cheese. I was really craving that. That is the only thing that will switch my Chick-fil-A order. Because so I will always get an eight count or a 12 count, depending on the day, fries, Chick-fil-A sauce, lemonade. Um, honestly, on a really wild day, I'll throw in like a strawberry shake. Ooh. If I'm feeling really crazy. Chick-fil-A milkshakes are the best. They're so good. And then very, very, very rarely, I will get the mac and cheese. I was going through a phase where I was regularly getting it, mm -hmm. but it just felt right today. Were any of y'all here during my college vlogs when Dom and I, you literally couldn't tell us that the Chick-fil-A iced coffee wasn't the best thing in the entire world. By the way, it's good. No, do what I say? It's so good, it's bad. Yes. It's so bad, it's good. Yes, yes. Yes, exactly. But we acted as though it was literally the second coming of Jesus Christ. We were so crazy about it. And now you go back and drink it and I'm like, huh, what was going on there? You need to try the, um, from Chick-fil-A, it's the Mocha Cream Cold Brew. It's their ice cream. It's their How ice do you always know everything? Because <laughs> TikTok. Oh. Um, no, but it's their iced coffee, but they put chocolate syrup in it. It's so good. I think you always know everything because you just sip it today. Yeah, that's true. Like, I actually live my life in such a delusional way where I think that everyone is copy Macy. I think that everyone, yeah. but we're not like people who would ever talk actually about like being that. copied. Yeah, so I never think that way. I just think that anything funny that she does, like I think it's a trend that she started. Thank you. Even if it's a trend that you're following, and that's the boomer in me. Mm -hmm. And then I think, I think Macy would be good at anything besides two things. One, being a nun. I think she would, no offense, be really bad at that. Yeah. And being on Taylor Swift's team because- I would tell everyone everything. Macy's- not good or skilled with NDAs mm -mm. and because we were talking about this today if you give me an NDA that's gonna make me want to talk about it yeah totally we we're talking <laughs> about this today with eras it's so crazy because when you're doing a stadium tour you're obviously booking that out like years in advance like a very long time in advance it's really so wild that there's so many people that know about it because it's in scheduling and it just doesn't get out Mm -hmm. And I guess it's for any artist, but Taylor Swift, like the one that people are most interested in. It's just crazy that there's people like walking around on this earth who like knew that. You yeah. know what I mean? And it just didn't get out. But tell me the truth. If any of you guys know someone that would like found out because of work, let us know. Did you know before? You can be honest here. Think about how everything gets leaked. Everything gets leaked. It's crazy. Well, anyways, guys, it's been real. Um, we're going to have a sleepover, so I have to go. I hope you guys are... Okay, good night. Bye. Okay, um, Kinsey's leaving. It's 9 a.m. I just woke up and ran six miles. Oh. I did Pilates, and so I think I'm just going to kind of, like, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Okay, Macy, we'll see you in three weeks. Okay, bye. Wait, kind of like two weeks. No, three weeks. I was in London. That's just good. <laughs> so long, London. So long. It's really sad. All right, y'all. I'm leaving for the airport. I have my airport fit on. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm rushing home so I can see the early screening of It Ends With Us. My review will be on TikTok. Love you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.